The third cross is the cross of the commandment. Any commandment is a cross because any commandment costs you something. It contains fatigue. When, when, he see, when he says to you, go sell what you have and come follow me, as in Matthew 19, 21, it costs you. When he says to you, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, it costs you. When he tells you to love all people, even your enemy, of course it costs you a lot. When he tells you to pray for those who spitefully use you, it costs you. When he says, do not judge, it costs you, because all people judge. Every commandment comes with a cost. If you know that this cross is your shabka, that is, the bride's engagement gift from homily number one, your most valuable thing you have, your net worth as a Christian, your most beautiful thing that bonds you to God, then the commandment will not be heavy. We all think his commandments are hard, but St. John said his commandments are not burdensome. 1 John 5, 3. How is it not burdensome? Because he said, the one who loves me treasures my commandments. If you love our Lord a lot, you will find his commandments are easy. But because we do not love our Lord enough, his words are difficult and cost us. We think many things before doing them, or maybe forget and neglect them. If you love God so much, his commandment will be the cross that makes you very happy while carrying it. As beginners, we think many times on how we will trans, trans how we will respond to an insult or how to avoid it. Otherwise, we think on how to endure it. On the other hand, if you love God, you will rejoice in insults. You say, "Lord, finally I tasted one of the ones that you tasted." When the disciples were insulted for the first time, they say, they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. That's Acts 5.41. They were happy about the whipping and humiliation and hitting. You joyfully accepted the plundering of your goods. Hebrews 10.34 How can one accept the looting of his home with joy? Because he offers that to God. Every commandment is a cross, and it is a joyful cross. What does this mean? that we do not carry it with anger. We carry it with anger if we do not love God. If we love God, we say to him, give me more. You'll notice that our church, the artist, included Christ's sermon on the mountain in the Egbeya in the sixth hour prayer, which is the hour Christ was crucified. Although Christ did not deliver the sermon while he was on the cross, of course, when we remember his pain and his cross, we remember his commandments. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are those who mourn. Blessed are the meek. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are the peacemakers. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Well, is this the suitable time, Lord? It is an opportunity to hear him suffer on the cross while he is in pain. Son, do you do these things or not? Are you ready to be poor in spirit for the sake of my cross or not? Are you ready to be peacemakers for the sake of my pain or not? Will you be the salt of the earth and the light of the world while I am here crucified? The commandment has great power from the cross. For the sake of, of your cross, Lord, I will obey. <laughs>